Today we are going to do some free, easy, eco-friendly home decor for summer. We are doing three different kinds of driftwood DIYs and one of them is this cute little fish. So let's get started. I've been collecting driftwood for a couple of years and I have quite a lot of it. This is just one of the bags that I have. I even pick up big pieces of wood like this one. You can use it as a sign and write something on it. But today we're going to cut two fish heads. branch which I find the most beautiful and to create the body you put the biggest one in the middle and then it goes from big to smaller on each side of the middle piece to create this typical fish shape. For the tail I'm using this funny branch that I once found, it was just a little bit too long so I cut it to the right size. After that you drill a hole in each branch, be sure that it's in the middle, if not the branch will go more to one side than the other. And for the tail I drilled a hole on the top, joining a hole on the side, so we can pull out the string later on. And then I drilled two holes in the head and we are ready to go. And now the funny and relaxing part of it, actually making the fish. And so you place them in order of size of course and you tie a little knot under each branch so there will be a space between each of them. Don't forget to put some extra rope in the beginning so you have something to hang it with. I forgot it but then I just added it now. It's still early spring so the terrace is still a little bit messy but I just wanted to see what it will look like when it's going to hang there this summer. The next DIY is also a fish and I drilled a hole in the end of the long branch which is going to be the body. Like that it would be easier to screw the tail on. For the eye I'm just using a screw which is also fixing the head on the body. But now if I'm being honest I'm proud of these eyes cause they see me through some hardship proud of those I'm really not a fan of using glue but for this fish I'm going to use just a drop of glue on each branch because I wanted a really clean look since this one is going to be inside the way they kept me breathing proud of how my feet kept me running in the deep end Ooh, even when they feel heavy I'm proud of every part of me I shut my mouth till I lost my voice in the silence And I bent my back till I learned how to carry the weight Put my body and mind on a trial till I found alignment Still remember how the pain felt But I never wanna change it Cause I 
And I just wanted to show you that you may also screw them on like we did on the second one because my daughter wanted to make one for herself. As you can see she chose to use a cock clock as an eye, so there are many ways to do them. Just be creative. If you screw them on, this one could literally survive for years outside. And you may hang it or you could put it on a stick and use it as a sculpture in your garden. The last DIY is really simple. It's just a lot of driftwood placed in order of size. In the end, I'm going to place this seashell. The seashell was actually broken when I found it, but it just made it different from all the other ones and I found it beautiful just the way it is. I'm using super resistant thread for this one so it can last for a long time. And then it's basically just like making a pearl necklace. 